Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I'm doing a flick and spin. I haven't done one of these before. Um, I'm going to be doing a swipe first and then some flicking. So that should be interesting. I've got these colours here. Bright blue, sky blue, turquoise, sage green, celadon, silver and champagne gold. And a little bit of Prussian phalo blue for some deep contrast. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be pouring on my British Paints uh, interior walls house paint as my base. And I'm going to put a decent sized puddle. Like that. Uh, I don't want to spread it out too much because I want it to take my lacing. I'm going to put um, my light colours through the base. Uh, I'm just going to give them all a bit of a stir. It's been sitting. There's not much of this sky blue left. So I'm going to do the sky blue, sage green, silver, and turquoise. So more, a bit more of the greens, a couple of greens through the base, and I might go straight. Mm. So I'm thinking when I flick, I might go a very gradual di diagonal. So I'm just going to drizzle on my colours. Get some blue happening. Dropped a bit outside where I want it to go. That's okay. Just thinking, so if I want it really pale, then I won't put too much colour on. So it just depends how vibrant I want it. And we've got the silver, so I haven't tried the silver before. So I don't know how that's going to go, how much that will shine. Uh, but I want some more of this colour. How big is my palette knife? Yeah, I can go wider. Getting low on that sky blue. So if I want to put any of that through the flick part, I'll probably put the silver through the flick. And then I've also got the champagne gold. And the silver. All right, I think that's probably enough. I'm gonna keep the silver to put on top. And I'll probably use up the rest of that sky blue on top as well. All right, get my swipe mix. I'm just gonna do that. I hope I've got enough of this. <laughs> white swipe mix. Yeah, I do. Should be fine. Alright. I'll go from this way. Now I have left a little bit, but that's okay as well because it could get flicked on. I 
uh, the silver is interesting. The best part's here though, which is where I'm going to end up putting my paint that I'm going to flick, which is a bit of a bugger. Uh, I probably should have had a bit of a look at how people could do this. Like, do I do a puddle? Puddle and then flick it out or... Hmm, I'm definitely going to need a glove. Yeah, that's the best bit. But I have to go the middle. I really do. All right. I've got some bright blue. I've got the dark blue. I've got the silver. I mean the champagne. And silver. And what colour do I want to go down first? I'm going to put the bright colour down first. And I think I'm just going to sort of do a, a bit of a puddle. Let's go silver. And the Prussian phalo blue. The green. This is a very small puddle. And the champagne gold. Yeah, I like that. The colors there. I do need to get um this tool ready i reckon so i might need to have a play all right so let's click oh i'm scared <laughs> uh, where's my torch let's let's delay it a little bit longer going everywhere. Oh no, can't have it up there. Ooh, not sure about that one. That was a deep one. sure about that last one. I do like the rest of it though. That's why I'm, I'm hesitant to keep going. I want to bring that to the middle. Sometimes less is more. All right, let's, oh, I don't know. Let's, yeah. Interesting, I don't know. Let's give that a whirl. It's hard to, hard to see it whether there's enough detail in this bit here. 
Should I do one more flick? I really do like the colours though. The colour palette looks good. I just want a light flick. Yeah. Yeah, that just gives it a little bit more detail through that big flat bit. Because once it spreads out. All right. This is pretty. Let me just check these corners here. Make sure we get paint on them. Okay, good. We have got some on the floor. <laughs> oh dear. All right, another spin. All right, well, I think that might be it. So I'm happy with the edges. I'm happy with the background. Got some white negative space. And the paint looks like it's holding together fairly well. We've got a bit of the champagne gold breaking up, which is... um. That seems to be a bit of a theme with the... Oh, I like this. This is cool. I'm going to do this again. Got a real spiral here. That's quite an interesting blend there. This was a... something else, but... um, Because that's really pretty through there. The silver. Mmm. It's cool. I love the colours. Alright, I'll bring you in for a wet look. Alright, here it is wet. And I'm, I still can't get over this lacing. This is using house paint. It's just crazy. And the flick and spin, uh, the flick contrast. Oh, I just, oh, it's so pretty. Even the, just this little blend here is pretty. And the, the lacing got lost a bit up here, but you still have like a blend of colors, which is pretty. Mmm. Yeah. Well. I'll bring you back when it's dry. Okay, here is the dry result. And I've got some bad news. I really love this piece. Um, and I got all the edges really nice. This was, I was getting this one ready to sell, even though I love it myself. Um, but it's warming up here in Australia and the bugs are back out and a moth decided to uh, land in it. I tried to remove it but it was really sticky by the time I got to it. So um, I'm very disappointed but I'm going to show you anyway because 
This is stunning. This lacing here, it's gorgeous. And um, I just love this. It's like an, uh, a flower exploded or something. It's very pretty. Um, we've got this spiral going through here. Very nice. This spiral didn't quite make it, um, but we've got another spiral coming up through here and then a bit of interest there. And yeah, just the blend of colours. Like we've got the, there's like some green and champagne gold in the dark and oh, it's just really pretty. So uh, there's not much I can do about this. Mm. I'll give you the shine too. Nice. Um, what I'm thinking I will end up doing is probably getting an image of it, trying to fix the image, get the, uh, the bug out of it or cut it off here and make it a square. Maybe sell it as a print or something. I don't know. It's so pretty. Anyway, I must cover my paintings now the weather has warmed up again. So that's it for this one. Um, I'll definitely be doing this style again because I just love it. Uh, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.